TV's all good? All right, fire when ready. How do you feel about the nickname Maverick? <laughs> uh, when, when Coach Elliott um, said, I'm going to call you Maverick, I looked at him and I was like, Maverick? Uh, he was like, yeah, like Goose and Maverick from Top, from, uh, Top Gun. And I was like, okay, I kind of like that. So uh, that started a couple weeks ago, and it's been – it's been uh, it's been kind of catching on ever since. So that's what he's been calling me. Did he tell you why he was calling you Maverick? Uh, I don't know. He just kind of told me I'm gonna call you Maverick, and I was like, all right. So uh, I don't know. I guess me and Maverick have some some of the same qualities together. <laughs> have you seen Top Gun? I have. Okay. I, I, I like Top Gun. Do you feel like it's accurate then? You kind of. I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Maverick seems like a very confident guy. So I like that. I do, yes, sir. Um, for me, I just came up with a couple of buddies just trying to get better, um, trying to come up and um, not necessarily get a look, but I was just trying to get better at a camp. Um, and and I started out at quarterback. It was a three-day camp. I started out at quarterback the first two days, and I had, I had a baseball tournament um, that upcoming weekend. So I, I wanted to save some throws for my arm, and uh, so I, I brought my receiver gloves and started running some routes, and uh, next thing I know, um, over there, I'm over there talking to Coach Sweeney, and uh, it was just kind of a cool experience to uh, just kind of start getting some interest for the first time. Um, and ever since then, uh, we've kind of kept contacting each other, and it's been it's been a really fun journey. Well, well, you know what it was like to you know, get the base, uh, baseball draft and come in here and, and uh, come to Clemson, excited to play football, and now all of a sudden you've been cast into this spotlight. Yeah, I mean it was a it was a long process. Obviously, the last six months, uh, my family and I have been discussing a lot. I'm um, just kind of weighing out both experiences and uh, you know um, making a pros and cons list. That was a really big thing that we did, um, and and uh, you know we decided to come to Clemson, and uh, so far the experience has been has been awesome. Uh, I mean, obviously on draft night, there's a lot of phone calls being made. Um, you know, a lot of a lot of decisions happening real quick, uh, within you know five, ten, fifteen minutes. Um, but you know, we we kind of had an idea of what it was going to look like a little bit before. So we just kind of um, we had certain situations that we would go through um, before that night, but um, it all worked out and. Uh, you know, we, we just kind of weighed both experiences. That was that was our main thing was the experience, not not the money or the whatever. But it was more of the experience, and um, the college experience was 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 too hard to turn down. So is that a situation where you, you're getting multiple calls on draft night? You're just saying no thanks, no thanks. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I got a, a few calls um, first and second night, but uh, you know, it wasn't it wasn't enough for me to turn down this experience. Yeah, I mean a lot, a lot on both sides. Um, a lot of people told me I was crazy, but uh, for me it was it was more than just money. It was the experience. So um, you know, but both sides uh, understood, and um, you know, I, I'm, I'm really satisfied with my decision. Sorry about that college experience. How has that college experience been for you for the first couple months here? It's been great. I think I've been here three months now. Um, and it's really it's been it's been a blast, um, really, just from academics to uh, athletics here at Clemson, um, and being able to play both sports here is going to be is going to be really special. And um, you know, so far it's been it's been awesome. Coach, you've been talking pretty much just on campus about your abilities and athleticism. Where do you feel like you've grown the most from a guy who first got on campus with a lot of potential to a guy that's now starting to contribute on that campus? Yeah, at the end of the day, uh, I'm just here to contribute to a team. Um, you know, we have team goals, and um, 
you know, whatever my role is at the end of the day, that's what I'm, I'm there to do is, is help, the, help the team um, succeed and win. So, um, you know, whatever role that may be, special teams, offense, um, wherever, um, I'm just here to help the team succeed. Um, you know, just a lot of, you know, a lot of football has been taught to me the last two months that I, you know, never knew in high school. Um, just develop as a football player, um, and and really just mentally um, in the game as well as uh, the weight room here. The coaches do a great job of preparing the team, um, and over the summer, just great job. Uh, all the coaches prepared us. Uh, for the first two games of the season so far, and it's it's been it's been a blast. Just to uh, clarify, with the draft, I mean, was it first, second round, third round? When did you start hearing that they would potentially select you if the offer was right? Yeah, there was some there was some chatter, first and second round. Um, you know, again, we just kind of decided as a family. Uh, had a lot of situations before the draft, um, going through it in our head, so we. Uh, you know, we just had to make some quick decisions, but I um, feel like it was the right decision. Why would you, you know, that's hundreds of thousands of dollars, maybe millions of dollars. What, why, what about Clemson? Um, as a kid growing up or as an athlete playing here, what, what was the dream? Why, why was that enough? Yeah, um, so we, we kind of knew what the college experience was going to be like. Uh, we didn't really know what the professional life was like. Um, so that was that was a big reason why we uh, are here at Clemson, along with Coach Sweeney and Coach Lee. Um, they made me feel very comfortable staying here. Um, and then, who knows, in the next four years, um, I might have an, another opportunity to go play either either sport professionally. Um, but uh, we'll see. Um, but yeah, it was it was just very comforting knowing that um, I could stay here and. And play both sports, um, and it it'd be very manageable. We had a choice. You had a choice. You could either play professional football or baseball down the road. Do you know which one you pick? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, it just depends on the season. It is. Uh, right now, I'm all football, and then as soon as we play our last game, whenever whenever that may be in January or whatever, um, I'll be all baseball from there. When did you decide? Tell all coach Wayne. Uh, the day after, the, the night after the draft, uh, I kind of um, knew that I was sticking here at Clemson, um, and I kind of put them in a group message and, and told them that that I was staying here, and um, they were really excited. They were pumped up. Who was more excited, Coach Sweeney or Coach Lee? <laughs> they both were. <laughs> they were both. They were both fired up. Well, at what point in camp did you start to get reps and they put a little package for you? And, and when you came in, did you expect to get into the flame? Um, yeah, ever since, I mean, camp is awesome. You, know, you just get a lot of reps, no matter if the f you're the first string or the last string. Um, the coaches do a great job of preparing you and getting ready um, for the season. Um, we put in pretty much the whole playbook during camp. Um, from knowing nothing at the beginning to everything at the end, they just did a great job. Um, I think we went 16 days straight or something like that. So. Um, Mentally and physically, it was tough, but they did a great job of just preparing us. And um, you know, I didn't really know I was doing a whole lot of special teams till about a week before the Georgia game. So uh, it kind of caught me by surprise, but I was ready for the moment. Well, when you right now you're the football team, but they start fall ball here on Friday. When do you go over to the clubhouse over there and hang out with those guys and try to get to know those guys as well as you guys here? Yeah, I'm actually. Uh, I know a lot of the guys over there so far. I've been talking to them a little bit um, around around campus, school, class. But um, yeah, if ever I can go over there and play in a scrimmage, then I'll do that. Um, if not, then uh, no big deal. I'm still um, hitting and doing stuff on my own every now and then. So um, staying up on my work on that side, and uh, you know, whenever the season ends, um, I'll go over there and, and be all baseball. How often can you get the batting pitch? Uh, a couple times a week. Um, I, I actually have a lot more free time than I thought I would, so um, it's really convenient just to go over there and cages open 24/7. Just go over there and hit any time. Well, 
We did. We actually uh, we were roommates for a while, so we uh, we talked a little bit every night, and um, yeah, we we didn't really talk much about you know what what we were deciding, but um, you know the night of the draft, we were kind of keeping each other updated, and it was just cool to kind of see uh, what people were saying about uh, me and him on on the same night, but. Um, you know, I know he's satisfied with his decision, and I am as well. So it's just fun to see, um, just kind of keep up with him every now and then. I, I called him the other day, and um, you know, he's he seems to be doing great. So you're the first two sport guy to do this since Kyle Parker back in 2010. Have you reached out to him and asked him because he was a star quarterback? How he handled that, and also the success he had on the baseball team as well. I have not reached out to him. Uh, I've watched a lot of highlights about him. Um, and I've, I've talked to a lot of people that have coached him and played with him, and um, I just heard he's he's just a baller. Um, I mean, he had to do a lot of work. I know know how he how he I don't know how he managed all that, but um, I guess I'll find out soon. But um, yeah, I just heard he was a straight baller. Well, the coaches said they noticed him on the very first day. Did, did, did you surprise yourself with how quickly you were able to distinguish yourself coming right in? Um, no, sir. I mean, it's just. I've been myself my whole life. Um, you know, I did the same thing in high school. Um, my, my game hadn't changed. It's just um, a different level. So, I mean, it didn't surprise me. Uh, the same stuff I've been doing, just different setting. Coach Williams talked about they waited to offer you for a while, was trying to keep you under the radar a little bit. While you're waiting, I mean, are you trying to prove like yourself that, you know, I'm good enough to be at Clemson? Did you always believe you were good enough to play football? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's always people that are telling you that yeah, you don't deserve to play there and all that stuff. But um, you know, I'm just trying to be the best version of myself I can be um, in football and baseball. So you know, um, yep. Yes, sir. I did. I just, I just love to compete, um, you know, no matter what it is, what sport it is, I, I love to compete, um, and I just, I just like to win, so, um, again, yeah, no matter what sport it is, track, wrestling, football, baseball, um, I just love to go out there and compete, you know, I would play football and track in the same season, um, and I wouldn't really go to track practice, I just love to go out there and, and run, because I love to compete against each other and, and just have fun while doing it. Well, given that you were a quarterback in high school, when was the last time, if ever, you ran around and caught a, caught a ball in a, in a game setting? Uh, it's been a while. Um, I played slot receiver my freshman year of high school a little bit. Um, so it's, it's been a while, but you know, I, I stay up on my routes um, just, just in case ever needed. I know maybe in the future I might transition to receiver, but um, you know, I, I run a, a couple routes every now and then in practice just to stay up. Did you have a lot of practice returning punts before you got here? Uh, I have not. Uh, they didn't really let me do a whole lot in high school because I was a quarterback. Um, early on in my career, uh, freshman, sophomore year, I uh, returned kickoffs. So I had a little bit of experience, but um, yeah, I, I love doing it. How similar is that to catch a fly ball? It's actually very similar. Uh, I kind of caught on quickly, um, you know, Coach Sweeney and all the special teams coaches were kind of helping me trying to figure out the first couple of days I was doing it, but they did a great job of coaching me up and uh, I was able to catch on to it quickly. And uh, yeah, I just, it's very similar because I've been doing it my whole life with baseball. Um, just kind of keep your feet moving through the ball and um, yeah, just camp under it. Yeah. Yes, sir. I felt I felt absolutely prepared, um, you know, because my coaches prepared me during fall camp and 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 practice before game prep and everything like that. So, 
Uh, they did a great job preparing me, and, and once I was in the game, uh, I just kind of tuned all that out and um, just focused on one thing, catching the ball and, and uh, you know, trying to create a play. Well, I think like a week before the draft, maybe you came up with the bench or a day with uh, Coach Meany and uh, Coach Lee. Can you just kind of take me through that and, and how, it, how that day was and kind of what you learned about Coach Meany? Yeah, we just kind of had some uh, – Conversation on how it would look if I if I stayed here and um, kind of what the schedule would look like, um, being able to manage two sports, um, and and I really felt comfortable being able to do it. You know, obviously they were telling me about Kyle Parker, and um, I mean he did it he did it well too. So uh, hopefully I can do the same. And um, they were just I mean Coach Sweeney was just telling me that I would have a lot more time than I thought I would, and and now that I'm here I do have a lot more time. So. Uh, it'd be, it's going to be very easy for me to <clears throat> manage both, and um, hopefully it'll work out. How did you watch the draft, and who were you with? Uh, I was with my family. We were up here in Clemson. Um, so just we watched it together and, and made some decisions. Well, it sounds like you've kind of made your mind up, maybe in the back of your mind, even before draft night, then no, and nothing kind of blew you away, and then could compare to the college experience. Fair to say? Right, yeah, it was going to have to be, um, you know, I've heard the, the term life changing, but uh, I mean, that's true, but also it was going to have to be a, you know, perfect situation for me to leave this place, which is phenomenal in everything academics, athletics, and, um, you know, really just the culture around here is, is really special. Uh, really wherever the team needs me, uh, wherever I can contribute the most, uh, quarterback, wide receiver, special teams, um, you know, it really doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm, just, I'm just here to help the team succeed. Do you feel like you're still a ways away from being able to go out and play like a, a full game of slot? Um, I mean, I know you said you've just taken a few routes, but you, as far as playbook and that kind of stuff, do you feel like you're still a ways away or do you feel like you can do that? Uh, I definitely have some work to do, um, you know, as far as the re receiver standpoint. Uh, I know the routes and everything, all the, uh, the plays, but uh, as far as the skill work at receiver, you know, I, just, I still have, you know, I just got to get more experience there and, and uh, more confidence. Just in terms of your first home game, I mean, was it a dream as a kid to rub the rock and run down the hill? It was. It was awesome experience um, just to see a sellout crowd there. Um, you know, with the fan base we have, it's very easy and very fun on Saturdays to go out there and play in Death Valley. Um, just knowing that, you know, everybody's going to show up and it's going to be an awesome, awesome experience. Being a Columbia guy, did, did, did you have any interest in South Carolina or did they have any interest in you? I uh, actually did not. Um, so it was, it was a couple other schools in Clemson, um, and it was a pretty easy decision for me. Anything from anybody on Zoom? Hey, well, Trevor Gross from CUTigers.com. Uh, the, the Rangers uh, took a chance and, and drafted you, even though they knew that you were likely uh, coming to Clemson. Um, what did they say to you about why they took a chance on you? Um, it was more of a, uh, you know, they just – they just told me that, you know, they liked me as a person, as a player, and uh, they, they thought I had a bright future. Um, so maybe on later down the road, um, you know, I took a couple of visits there and uh, really liked the organization, um, highly respected um, everybody there on staff. And uh, it was just a great experience for me. And um, I talked to the GM and the manager a couple of times and, uh, you know, just – just a very well mannered or organization um, from top to bottom, and um, and they had a lot of good things to say. Um, so they they I, they just picked me last pick, uh, their the last round, uh, knowing that I probably wouldn't go. But um, anyway. And, and what's it been like uh, working with the uh, College Football Hall of Fame famer and uh, Rich Miller uh, on punt returns? And um, he had a, a 
similar run against Georgia Tech um, down the sideline, one that you had on your punt return. Have you seen that clip? Uh, I have not, but I'll I'll go look it up right after this. But it's been it's been great. Coach Spiller has been has been great. Just being coached by a Hall of Famer is something special. Not many people get to do. Um, and uh, I think I've I've formed a good relationship with Coach Spiller the last couple of weeks. Um, just getting to know him personally, and um, you know he does a great job with all our returners and uh, preparing us for everything we need to know about every situation. Lastly, Hunter Renfro was a quarterback transition to wide receiver. Obviously, did that real well. Had a big game on Monday Night Football last night. Is he a guy that you try to you know, try to emulate a little bit? Uh, definitely, in, in certain areas, um, you know, he was. I know he was a great person, a uh, very likable guy, and um, you know, he was just a baller on the field. Uh, he was a quarterback in high school, and I've, I've had a lot of comparisons to him. But um, you know, I've, I've gotten a chance to talk to him a couple times, and uh, you know, that's a that's a big name to be compared to. But uh, you know, it's that's kind of the goal in the end. So. All right. Thank you, Will.